Now we have a good looking turbo broiler. Hello guys, welcome back again. Today I'm gonna show you how to replace the broken part of the turbo broiler. So I have a model of Aroma and made in uh, USA. So this microwave oven is working, but a problem is the switch handle was broken. The former user put masking tape on it. And besides, if you can see the bottom part, many rust accumulated and it looks so dirty. So, by the way, I have an spare, the same model of my turbo broiler here. This is the spare, but uh, this is also working fine. But the problem was the glass was broken. So, what I'm going to do is remove this glass and attach to this uh, unit. Okay, then let's get started. So just loosen these uh, three knots here to remove this fan guard. After loosening the knots, then you can remove it this way. Then the next thing you should do, loosen this knot, it should be turned clockwise. Yeah, it's just opposite from the regular tightening of uh, nut and bolt. Then lift it up. Okay, let's set aside again. Then the next thing you should do is to loosen all the screws here. And these are Okay, just leave it out. It will come out all together along with this glass. Then, you need to remove all the connectors so that we can freely remove this glass. Before disconnecting the wires, you can uh, take a picture so that you will not be confused when replacing back all the wires okay this is it all right well done yeah it's done now we can freely remove this glass. Okay guys, this is now the glass that we removed. Okay, so it's time for us to put this uh, glass into this unit. So this is the one that uh, the place where we remove this glass. First of all, the same thing that we did in the first. Leave it on. There's a lot of uh, broken debris here. Of course, we need to remove all of those things. We need to disconnect the wires. And we need to clean a little bit using a brush. We're cleaning the parts. Then it's time for us to fit this. Uh, glass okay first of all we need to put this way then after that connect all the wires okay first to align the glass to check that this is properly in its place so it will go this way Make sure that the heating element also is in uh, the right position. Okay. 
let's put these screws one by one let's begin with the heating element first then the hanger of the heading element make sure that the glass is parallelly aligned okay so anyway we can uh, check if the glass is in its place now it looks pretty cool right the propeller fan okay then uh, tighten the nut counterclockwise yeah done and finally you put the propeller guard Okay, so the final thing we need to do is to put this knob selector. Let's uh, check. So let's notice the light. Right. And the temperature. And let's, let's check when we press the hand lever switch. Right, it's working pretty fine. Now we have a good looking turbo broiler. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this video can help you a lot in order to repair and maintain your turbo broiler. See you again next time and please check my other videos related to electronic repair.